IBM Voice Gateway allows us to connect our call centers to IBM Watson, allowing customers to talk to Watson conversation just like someone using a chatbot application. That alone is pretty useful, but what if our customers could talk to other systems we already have operational? Hence the title for this session, Broadening the Conversation with Service Orchestration. What if we could chase up an order just by phoning in and speaking to an automated agent that didn't drive us crazy, or get a price for a complex product like life insurance just by talking to the quotation engine, in this case running on IBM's Operational Decision Manager? So what's coming up? First of all, we're going to have a look at Voice Gateway itself and have a brief overview of what Voice Gateway does. Then we're going to look at Voice Gateway when connected with other systems before having a demo of Voice Gateway working with the quotation service I've implemented in IBM's Operational Decision Manager. So that's already quite a lot of material. Um, so I'm going to split this into three parts. Part one will be the overview and then conclude with a demo. Part two will start the, the build phase. We'll look at setting up a Voice Gateway instance on IBM's cloud and connecting that to a simple orchestration. In part three, we'll connect Voice Gateway to a decision service running in ODM. This will act as our quotation engine and calculate the price of our life insurance. ODM is a business rules management platform for non-technical users to manage their business logic, in this case, the rules and calculations that determine the cost of life insurance. ODM is great for these types of pricing services as the rules have to change rapidly to adapt to the competitive environment. And by rapidly, I mean daily or even hourly. It would take too long to do this in regular program code and it would cost a fortune. With ODM, a business user, such as an actuary, could make the changes, run a full regression test and hand them over to deployment with no interruption to service. Here we're using ODM as the external service, but Voice Gateway can integrate with almost anything that has an API. I'll have another example that uses a basic web service, so we're not dependent on ODM. So what is Voice Gateway? Well, essentially, Voice Gateway is allowing us to connect a bunch of Watson services to someone on the end of a phone. Voice Gateway is handling all the conversion, the telephony integration, and then is managing the various Watson services, in this case, speech to text, text to speech, and conversation. And it allows us to talk to a Watson conversation over the phone and then if required we can have the call directed out to, to an agent. So this is a fairly typical use case for Voice Gateway. So this diagram shows the interaction between the caller, Voice Gateway and the various Watson services in more detail. At step one the caller is asking a question, speaking into their phone. Voice Gateway then uses a Watson speech text service in steps two and three to have that speech converted into text. At step four the text is sent into Watson conversation to try and understand what the user is asking for and then we get the response from Watson conversation. Before we can send that response back we have to have that text converted back into speech. So we use another Watson service for that text-to-speech. We get the synthesized uh, speech back and then we send that back down the phone line. Voice Gateway depends on three Watson services, speech-to-text, text-to-speech, and conversation, which is what we're looking at here. The conversation is hosted on IBM Cloud, and the, what we're looking at here is the development environment that's provided for Watson conversation. Now we're looking at a workspace, and the workspace is divided into three parts, intents, entities, and dialogue. We're actually breaking down the, the, the conversation into these three parts. So in tents, this is where I tell Watson about the things that customers will be asking for. So here we've got a how much needed intent and we've got examples of the things I might say that indicate this intent. Okay, the next thing we've got are the, the entities that we're looking for. These are the values that we're looking for in the conversation dialogue. We've got gender, age and cover amount. If I expand gender we can see that there are two possible values for gender 
and I've given some additional examples so Watson can be better trained at spotting male if I say you know gentleman. The final part is the dialogue and this dialogue represents the the responses and structures the responses if we are um, pursuing a certain intent. So you'll recall the how much needed intent which would have been indicated by you know these kind of uh, utterances. If I go to the dialogue here we have the dialogue that's looking to if it recognizes the how much cost intent this is how the system will respond. If we recognize a more complex intent so get quote um, then the system is going to respond with this text here before I can give you a quote I need to know a few things about you let's begin with your age okay and then it's going to try and find these three values and if it can't find them it's going to ask again you know please tell me your age or how much cover do you need uh, are you male or female until it's satisfied those those values we've seen how Watson conversation is, is really the heart of the solution here and it's easy to imagine these conversations becoming very complex and requiring you know a lot of training to handle very complex customer interactions but the thing is we can share the same conversation assets across different channels if we've already invested the time to train a Watson conversation to handle conversations over chatbots we can reuse the same conversation assets with voice gateway and vice versa so we've seen how we can connect voice gateway to Watson conversation directly and for simple Q&A type services that might be all we need but if we need to involve external systems then we're going to have to use a service orchestration engine or SOE the SOE enables us to intercept the text before it's sent to conversation and then look at the text before it goes back and not just look at the text but we can actually look at the conversation context and look at any entities that Watson has identified we can also add commands such as hang up or switch to an entirely different Watson conversation so for example um, let's say we thought the customer was asking about life insurance um, but now we realize it's, it's pet insurance we need to switch to a completely different conversation we can also send commands to transfer the call to a human agent we could get numerical input from the phone keypad our interest though is calling other services and enhancing the output that goes back to voice gateway with output from other systems so this is the diagram I used before when I was describing the direct interaction between the customer voice gateway and Watson so I've added a couple of components to the diagram as indicated with the the dashed lines the first is the service orchestration engine and the second is the quotation service and you can see from the placement of the SOE that it's able to intercept the text before it goes to conversation and inspect the conversation context after it's come out of Watson conversation and this enables us to look for um, markers in the conversation that indicate that we've reached a point where we can call an external service in this example what I'm looking for is the values of coverage amount gender and the customers age to have been recognized and inserted into the conversation context once I know I've got those three things I know I've got the minimum data required to get a life insurance quote so before the text that goes back saying this is your quote um, rather than providing a, a default value I'm able to use the value that I've obtained by calling the ODM quotation service so now we understand the various moving parts of the solution um, let's see it in action or, or rather hear it in action I'm going to give Watson a call um, but I'm going to leave this diagram up because I think it helps understand what's going on when you hear the conversation and can relate back to the the interactions hello and welcome to Watson insurance how can I help you today oh hi tell me about life insurance 
Life insurance works by paying a lump sum should you die unexpectedly. This money will help those you leave behind financially. How much do I need? Think about the financial needs of those you leave behind and how they would pay for things without you. If you have children, you may want to provide for them until they reach adulthood. Okay, how much will it cost, though? The cost depends on your age and how much cover you need. A man in his 20s might pay around £10 per month for £100,000 worth of cover. This will gradually get more expensive the older they are. Okay, I'd like a quote. Before I can give you a quote, I need to know a few things about you. Let's begin with your age. I'm 41. How much cover do you need? Uh, £250,000. Are you male or female? Uh, I'm male. Your quote is £233.25. Thank you for calling Watson Insurance. So that pretty much concludes part one. Hopefully this overview of the solution and listening to the demo has helped you understand the potential of these solutions when we combine voice gateway with external systems using a service orchestration engine. In part two we'll be looking at building this solution from scratch and we'll begin by provisioning the voice gateway service on IBM Cloud and configuring it to use a simple uh, SOE. In part three we'll build on that and configure it to call an external system, in this case to get a quote. Thank you very much for your time and attention.